Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to replace your hard drive in any standard laptop from start to finish. And I'm going to repeat, be replacing uh, the failed hard drive in this Gateway NV57 laptop with a uh, hybrid hard drive. But I'll talk more about exactly what that is. But first, uh, before you do anything, you want to remove the battery. First you want to have it turned off, obviously and remove your battery just for precautionary so it doesn't have any uh, power going through it that you may short out anything it's just easy to do and safe and on this particular laptop uh, you on the back you're going to turn your laptop over and the hard drive is going to be near the front of the laptop and on this one if you can see here uh, I don't know if you can make that out but it's got a little uh, platter icon you want to look for that but basically just remove the screws right here it'll either be a box kind of like this large in this case it's the whole section here and it's just two screws so I'm going to go ahead and remove these two screws so we can access the hard drive so we can take it out and do what we have to do and with your screws uh, keep them in order because they're going to be a different sizes and put them on a nice uh, surface where they you know in a nice area where you won't lose them and you know what goes to what when you're replacing a hard drive, there's not a lot of screws, generally uh, uh, six to eight screws total. So that's all there is to that, and you're just going to go to the tab, pop it off, and just be gentle, but it will come off. So now you have this off. I'm going to use that as kind of a, a carriage for the screws. And I have this if anything gets dropped because these screws are small. So as you can see here, on this side is the hard drive. Uh, you should, should be able to make out that it's 640 gigabytes to Western, Western uh, Digital. Over here, if you're curious, is the RAM. Two RAM chips right here. So if you need to replace your RAM, you just pop it open and pull these out and put new chips in there. Very, very simple. This is simple as well. Usually there are going to be two screws holding this in. In this case, there are not. This has never been worked on. Bought it brand new, so that's just the way it is. Uh, most often you're going to have a little tab here. I don't know if you can make that out because it's transparent. But you just grab this tab, make sure the screws are off. Yeah, yeah, but this one has the screws off. And you just gently pull on it. And make sure you're not trying to pull anything too hard because something else could be holding it down with a screw. But in that case, there are no screws holding that down. So here we are. We have the hard drive. So you can see that better. You can see it's 640 gig uh, gigabytes Western Digital and you can tell it's in this little cage so the next process you're going to want to remove this cage to put on your new drive because this is now trash um, basically unless you just are replacing it and you're going to sell the drive or something but so there are going to be two screws on each side of the cage so let's go ahead and get to that and remove the screws and sorry for this part but uh, the new drive is a hybrid drive. It's uh, going to be a Seagate one terabyte uh, hybrid. Uh, so it has um, a portion of it that is what's called NAND flash memory, and then uh, one terabyte of uh, regular platter in there. So uh, what how does work basically? Very simply is the little portion of it that's flash memory <clears throat> is used for the most access bits of information on the, on the hard drive. So the hard drive learns what is used the most and caches it in that really fla uh, fast flash NAND memory. And that makes it boot really fast and that makes programs load a lot faster. So it's a good uh, combination uh, for price if you don't want to get uh, just a straight solid state completely. Uh, you, but you want something faster, you want to set your computer to boot faster and you want uh, your programs to load faster and so on. It's, it's considerably cheaper. The one I bought was $77, one terabyte, uh, and it's a hybrid, so I consider that a really good deal. But here we are, we, we have the four screws off and now this cage is off. This is the old drive. I'm going to put this aside now. And now we're left with this cage. You can see it's transparent. You should be able to see now this little tab here that's on it. So all you want to, uh, to be careful of at this point is that when you put the new drive in, you put it on the end that you saw went into here, which, which in this case is going to be these two. Because remember, 
was right here against the screw. So if you're ever unfamiliar, just kind of line that up, make sure that's where the screws are. And, you're, and, you're, uh, and you want to put the uh, plug end of the drive where the power and the data ports are on this side. So let's get the new drive. Get it out of this, tear this package. It's going to come into a in, into a static package. Tear that. Open it up. Put the static aside. I'll take, give you a look at this drive. Uh, I'll turn it both ways because I may be flipping this video. I'm not sure. But you see that that's a, a Seagate uh, laptop SS8 HD is what the uh, what they call the hybrid drives. 1,000 gigabytes and so on. And this is is going to be roughly the same size if not exactly the same size as the old drive see here so it should fit in this cage quite well and these are the data ports that I'm talking about that you want to have on the right side one's power and one is data and that's all there is to it so uh, installation is reverse of removal so let's get this drive and remember this goes like this so that's going to be the top so this is going to go in the cage like so make sense and you can ver and you can look down here and verify the ends just to make sure before you start screwing something in, not to waste any time. Make sure your holes line up when you put the cage on, and they do in this case. And then this part may be the most uh, difficult, I would say. None of this is very difficult, but getting these little screws to line up without falling off while you're putting them on, in rather, whatever you want to call it. So we get that screw in. And then we'll go for the next one. You want to try not to use any magnetic devices when you're dealing with uh, hard drives or computers in general. It can really damage it. So while a magnetic screwdriver would be quite handy with these screws, uh, don't use one. Okay, and if you want to be really, really careful, you could put a, rip stra uh, a, a wrist strap in. I actually have one in a package down here, but uh, call me a rebel. <clears throat> so that's two done. It's going on the third here. Get the third one in. Spin it a little bit. And then let's get the fourth one. And all I'm doing is doing exactly the reverse of what I did to start with. This is super easy stuff to do. Anybody can do it. If you're not good with computers, etc., you can do this. I promise. Just Take it slow, be careful, watch what you're doing, and uh, just, you know, it's super simple. I mean, you're watching me do it. All right, that's complete. So now, well, in this case, uh, there's no screws to be put in here. I'm not really worried about it. It's worked fine that way. So you just slide it back in. It's going to have two ports here. Uh, <clears throat> you're going to have uh, data and power. And uh, you just want to basically slide this in exactly the way the other one came out. So you can grab this tab to kind of help you line up a little bit, but it's pretty much not going to go in the wrong way. Just don't force anything, and just make sure you push that all the way in, where this is all the way directed so it has good contact. And once you have that, you are pretty much good to go. It would be nice to, uh, uh, if I had a couple screws to put in there, but for the interest of the video, I'm not going to go hunting around for screws. Uh, so. Next step is to grab the uh, top for everything and place that back on. This one looks like it's going to lip down on this side. It's kind of a funky design. It may be a, probably a little difficult to get back in properly. Don't ever make this stuff super easy. All right, that's back on. Remember it had two screws and I put them over here in a little box. I could get to them fairly easily. So let's put one of these down on here. And then I'll grab the other one. And put that one there. And this is the last screw of the process, and then it's done. So that's it. There's not really much more to say to it. That's how long it takes. Uh, replacing the hard drive in your laptop. So, uh, yeah, oh yeah, the battery, right? So obviously you want to get your battery so you can power it back up, place your battery back on it. If you can figure out how the battery went back in. Alright, battery's back on. 
new hybrid uh, one terabyte drive is in here and now I'm just going to proceed to install Windows and so on. So you guys take care. I hope that helps you. Um, and um, it's really just that easy. Don't be afraid to do it.